Hello there. Welcome once again to Stuff and Things, where I like to talk about stuff and occasionally even things. I'm your good friend Bradley. Today is a pleasant Sunday smoke. It is also Christmas. Merry Christmas, everybody. Now, I just lit my pipe with a little bit of Twisted Bee Fine Hemp Wick. Hey, why not check this out? You can get a free sample from Twisted Bee. Look in the description box below. There is a link. If you follow that link, you can sign up to receive a free sample of Twisted Bee Fine Hemp Wick. All you have to do is pay for the shipping. I think it's about two bucks, uh, US only, as far as I know. Definitely worth checking out. But let's get into this here. It's Christmas, so this will be a little bit of a shorter Sunday smoke. I am actually recording this on Christmas, on Sunday, which is a rarity. Usually I'm recording on Friday or Saturday, but I've been running around like a chicken with his head cut off, and I have just this little bit of time to slot this in and do this Sunday smoke. Um, have to go back to the family in a little bit. But it's been nice. Uh, we have snow on the ground. We have a white Christmas, which is an extreme rarity in the Pacific Northwest. But we had snow on Friday and uh, it's been cold enough that it's still sticking around, especially uh, went over to my mom's this morning for scones and uh, presents and all that good stuff. And she lives at a little higher elevation than I do. I'm pretty much right at sea level and she's a couple hundred feet up and there's a nice blanket of snow on the ground. It's cool. It's not enough to really put a kink in anyone's travel plans, but it's it's nice. Very Christmassy, very wintry. So hopefully all of you are having a fine, pleasant Christmas as well. I'm sure many of you are going to be so busy that you probably won't see the Sunday smoke until perhaps Monday. Um, luckily, I have Monday off as well, though, too, since Christmas fell on a weekend. And for those of you who celebrate other holidays or don't celebrate any holidays at all, Enjoy those as well. I'm not going to try to name them all because I'll just sound like an idiot. Um, but I still like saying Merry Christmas because to me, I don't consider it rude to wish somebody a Merry Christmas even if they don't celebrate that holiday. I've had many times where, like when I lived in LA, there were a lot of different enclaves of different ethnicities of people with different belief systems. And there was one time in this very Indian part of the city, there were a bunch of Indians. And by that I mean East Indians. And they were like, hey, there's some sort of festival going on in the street. And I was walking through that neighborhood and people were coming up and saying like, oh, happy blah, blah, blah. I don't know what the holiday was or whatever. But to me, that that's nice and inclusive when someone says that. They know that I'm not Hindu or whatever religion that was, the holiday was that they were celebrating. But they're including me in that by saying, by wishing me a happy whatever the festival was. And I appreciate that. So... I think me saying Merry Christmas to all of my audience, and I know I have people watching from all over the world with all sorts of different religions and belief systems, um, or no belief systems whatsoever, I'm just trying to be inclusive. Or I'm not trying to be anything, I'm just being nice. So there you go, Merry Christmas. Um, on this Christmas Sunday smoke, I will quickly try to run through some of the things that will be coming up on the channel, trying to get things done in spite of the holidays. So this week there will still be your normally scheduled Stuff and Things uh, videos. We have the review for Dunhill Dark Flake. This will be posting this week, probably Wednesday. We'll see how the editing, editing goes on all of this. I should have the very first episode of my Dark Souls 3 Ashes of Eriandel DLC. That will be on Monday, and then I will have episode two on Friday. We probably will do two episodes a week, a week for the Dark Souls series. Um, we took a little hiatus from that, did a Mega Man 2 playthrough, but now we're going through with the DLC. I also had a lot of people uh, leave suggestions for what video game I should play next on my Let's Play series. So it's still probably between uh, Shovel Knight and Stardew Valley, but there are some other good suggestions as well. So those, some of those things will be coming up. I received a very cool knife from a viewer who has a website in Germany called Tools for Gentlemen where they sell cool accessories, knives, watches, things like that. And I'm going to probably be reviewing this, but I'm not insanely familiar with, I've got a little, I was already using this on Christmas opening packages, not super familiar with like the modern folder, but this is Russian made, uh, kind of, I guess, pseudo handmade because it's not like a, a major production knife. Um, it's a, Cheberkov? 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 Very cool. Um, really beautiful, I think. And it's made of a weird steel. It's K390, which is kind of a... It's not a really common steel you'll see for knives. I think it's 
pretty hard to sharpen, but apparently holds a nice edge. This one definitely has a nice edge. I already like cut my thumb by when I was trying to close it one-handed, pushed it down and the blade actually locked on my thumb, cut it, just barely touched it. Um, but this is a really, really nice knife and I'm looking forward to finding out a little more about it. I was trying to do research, but most of what I can find is in Russian, so it's sort of hard. Um, but there will be a video on this coming up within the coming weeks. Also the minimum squared wallet, not this, well, maybe I, I'll try to get that review done this weekend as well. So hopefully that will post this week. So still lots of things to look forward to. One thing I wanted to mention, let me relight my pipe here, actually smoke a pipe on the Sunday smoke. The Seahawks, they already played, they already lost. That was a horrible heartbreaker of a game because I kind of, I just didn't think they were going to win. You know, they were, it was 14 nothing for a long time. I was like, ah, oh, this is it. They're just not going to win this game. And then to come back in such a rousing fashion and then give me hope, I was like, oh my God, they might actually pull this out. And then to lose the way they did at the very, very end. It was, uh, it was a great game, very exciting, but whatever. So I guess the number two seed is probably completely out of their grasp now, so we will have to play in the wild card round as far as I can see. Um, whatever, we'll see. I didn't have very high hopes for this season. Pretty much by the middle of the season, I wasn't really very optimistic, so we'll see what happens. One other thing I wanted to mention quickly. Um, many of you, well, actually many of you may not know about this particular person. The most popular YouTuber is a, is a man by the name of Felix Kahlberg, I believe, but he goes by PewDiePie on YouTube. And uh, many people love him. He has over 50 million subscribers, by far the most subscribed to channel on YouTube. Uh, <clears throat> started out doing a lot of gameplay videos and stuff and had uh, just a very kind of histrionic, loud persona online. I think he's toned that down a little bit recently, but Many people hate him, but obviously many people love him as well because he's insanely popular. But I just thought it was interesting. Occasionally I watch some of his videos because I do Let's Play videos as well. And sometimes he'll be doing a, doing a video game series on something that I find interesting. And it's also just kind of good to keep up with some of the most popular YouTubers, see what they're up to. But he was doing a series recently on... Um, there's a series of games on the Walking Dead TV show or I guess on the comic book. Um, made by Telltale. They're sort of a adventure game. Uh, I don't know. I don't want to explain everything, but there's a whole series, different seasons they call them. And he was doing one on the new season. And in the middle of the video, I saw him just, he pulled a pipe out and lit it and started smoking. I was like, okay, wait a minute. Is this a joke? What is he doing here? Is he just trying to be funny? Um, but he kind of, he kept it up throughout the video. And I think at one point he mentioned like, oh, these are just, these are, these are herbs. Don't worry. He said herbs because he's European. Um, they're herbs. Don't worry about it. But I don't know. It looked like tobacco to me, the way it smoked. You can sort of tell there are these herbal mixtures that people like to smoke sometimes because they want to pretend that they're less dangerous for you than tobacco. Um, but you're still just burning something. It makes no difference. Tobacco is, I guess you could call that an herb as well. It's just ridiculous the way we decide that one thing is good and one thing is bad. So I think he was trying to cut off the criticism because you could already see in the comments, people like, oh my God, don't smoke. We don't want you to die. But he was smoking this pipe and I just found it funny because pipe smoking is not mainstream at all. In fact, some people were mentioning, I've been talking about Twisted Bee. They pay me to mention their, their uh, fine hemp wicks. And um, very little, by the way, but enough that I'm like, yeah, I'll do that because I enjoyed using them as well. And one of my subscribers mentioned that when they uh, ordered the free sample of the Fine Hemp Wick, the promotional material from Twisted Bee has a lot to do with pot smoking. And I said, well, that stands to reason because I'm sure there are way more people who smoke pot in this country than smoke pipes, like tobacco pipes. And so you don't see it portrayed very often. And if you do, it's just in a very jokey manner or something, or someone's trying to do a parody or they're poking fun. But to see someone who is as popular as PewDiePie, and I know a lot of people may hate him, or a lot of people of, a, of an older age bracket may not even know about him, but believe me, he is insanely popular amongst the YouTube generation millennials. Um, to see someone just smoking a pipe and not really making a joke out of it, it was kind of funny and kind of surreal. So I'm going to try to give a little clip of that 
in this video. I don't know if the YouTube copyright, if, if it'll get a copyright strike or what. So this clip may or may not appear in the final video. Let's just see. Rafa, come here's me. Como es esto posible? Estás en tu ¿Qué casa, calma. ¿Qué está Él está loco. Él atacó a Héctor. I'm sorry, Papa. Hey, hey. Oh, he got a scratch too, huh? Oh shit, boy. You dare? It's like he knows. It's just herbs, okay? Calm down. It's very nice. I get stressed out, okay? Did you see just that? Just under four hours. Come on. See, I can point we to We should this keep now. moving while the kids are asleep. Yeah. Listen, before you judge me, can I be a hipster, okay? Jesus Christ. So there you go. You may or may not have just watched PewDiePie smoking a pipe filled with perhaps tobacco, perhaps herbs, as he called it. But anyway, I just thought that was kind of interesting and surreal. Perhaps pipe smoking can be a little more mainstream these days. We'll just have to see. But anyway, that's enough for this week's Sunday Smoke. It is Christmas after all. I have things to do, places to go, people to see, have to get back to my family. We're gonna have our Christmas dinner. But I hope wherever you are in the world and whatever you celebrate in the world that you're having a pleasant weekend. And if you do celebrate Christmas, I hope you have a good one, a nice time with your family. And thank you so much for spending at least a little bit of that Christmas with me on the Stuff and Things channel on this Sunday Smoke. So thank you so much for watching. I've been your good friend Bradley. You have been the audience. This has been Stuff and Things. Merry Christmas.